got him. Let's go! <laughs> folks at home, folks at home. Just got out of class. Picked up the boat. Now we're on Lake Conroe. Picked up uh, an oxid at the ramp. He was kind of just there, sitting there, so I picked him up. Thought I would take him fishing. Uh, literally just got to our first spot. It is glass calm. It is hot as Hades out here. Seems like it just rained earlier this morning. There was still mud at the ramp. Uh, so it's definitely really humid. No wind, so that might make it a little tougher of a bite. But me and Knox are going to have a challenge today. He said he wanted to do a major league fishing challenge. See whoever catches the most fish. I don't know if he meant 16 inches, a pound. We'll do a pound, pound minimum. So I've got my scale. Knox, I think he, I think he said he brought a piece of paper. So we're going to see. And there might be some money on the line. I'm not sure yet. we got to see how much money we got, how much money we want to risk. But, uh, yeah, hopefully it'll be fun. Right now we just started off at our spot. Um, we caught two big fish at last week. So I'll put that video up in the top right-hand corner if you guys want to go look at that, if you want to steal our spots, if that's why you're watching our videos. You could probably figure out exactly where we're at. But I don't post these videos until like a week later, so might not be able to see it. If there's still fish there, might be. I don't really know. Probably not, maybe. Who really knows? But, uh, yeah, water temperature, this says 81. Water temperature was actually 74 when we came here last week, so it definitely went up by a lot. I don't know if that just pushed these fish further offshore. We're going to see. Get going to fish around today. But one way to find out. only one way to find out. Just fish a bunch of different stuff. So don't really know if they're going to be on what we caught them on last week, but we're sure as heck going to see. Uh, Nox, you got anything, big dog? May the best man win. May the best man win. May the best man win. That's a scoreable fish. Seven knot hook right between. Look at that. Seven on. You can get you can get the scale, big guy. I see you're pulling down on it. Dude, it's not going. One point seven six. Two twenty, a two twenty, a cool two twenty. I'll take it. Q takes the lead. Q takes the lead. One two twenty to one seventy six. Folks at home, folks at home. Score tractor update. Knox has two, a 176, a 138. I got a 220, but about to make a little move. This little number just showed up. Not ideal. Not ideal. Definitely not ideal. So we're gonna move to the other side of the lake. Phones don't really load in this creek that well, so we're gonna move and then recheck the weather. Uh, but hopefully, well, that's rain right there actually. So <laughs> maybe we'll move a little quicker. 
Folks at home, folks at home. Just got out here. I'm hooked up with a giant on the Castaway Pro Sport. Seven foot three. Throwing a big shaky head. And on the fall, it hit it. I mean, it's a, it's a giant. I just told Hugh, I said, we're going to pull up here one day and we're going to catch a giant. Your mouth. Let's go. <laughs> That's why you come to Lake Conroe. This isn't going to go so well for me in the Major League Fishing Challenge. <laughs> We actually hid from the storm for probably like a good 45 minutes. Came out here, I was like, we started graphing. We had caught non-stop small fish out here. Knox says, he's like, you know what? We, we're gonna catch a big one one day off this thing. Come out here, literally don't, he, his bait doesn't even hit the bottom. He sets the hook, he's like, that's a grown one. Putting it on the scale right now. What is it, what is this? 681. 681 does not go so well for me right now in this major league fishing tournament. Uh, yeah, I might have my work cut out for me. About to fire a cast in there. Knox is letting this fish go. Look oh. at the head on that thing. There she goes. That helps. Helps his cause, does not help my cause. <laughs> so I'm going to see if I can fire in there and catch another big one. Knox said it. He was right. Like, we had caught nonstop big fish on this, or small fish off this point. He's like, you know, eventually we're going to run into a big one. And we kind of hit conditions right. This is like big fish weather. Literally during the storm, Knox actually picked up his rod he right after. Shocked. Yeah, he got shocked, which I've never heard. I've never had that happen to me. We definitely waited out. We waited out enough time to make sure the storm had passed so we didn't get struck by lightning. But that was kind of weird. We're gonna make another cast in there and see if there's another big one in there. Cause after what happened last week, we're gonna be fishing here for a little bit. So yeah, hopefully we'll get back with some bigger ones. Can't we didn't run the GoPro for that one because it was still raining. Uh, so now I think it cleared up. So we'll definitely put that on. Maybe I'll run the chesty if it's got enough battery. But we'll get, we'll get back to fishing. <laughs> Right in the corner. It's all right. It's all right. Got a big mouth on him. Big old noggin. Big old noggin. I popped him. I mean, I, I mean, I straight up popped him. No, he just. Whoa! Look at her tail. Look how bloody it is still. Yeah, man, that's kind of crazy. I was wondering why it was bleeding on me. Three. 335, 335 folks, call it. 335. I mean, I popped him, I popped him. Man, I thought that was a big one. That ain't a pound, just throw it back. 
No point. Bro, shut up. All right, folks. Kind of a little bit closer to the end of the day report. Knox, I think, is in the lead right now. We haven't really been keeping score, like doing the tally or whatever. But we we know how much we have the weights. We have the weights. We just haven't added them together yet. I think Knox is in the lead because he maybe caught like one that was almost seven or something like that. I've caught more fish than him, so it's gonna be a little close. I think if I catch like a three pounder, I can maybe take the title of uh, best fisherman for the day. But I don't really know because we haven't added them up. Uh, we went a good, pretty good while without catching anything. It seems like that's the trend of all these videos is that we end up catching fish and then we end up getting off the fish. So, uh, I have 11.32, Knox says, so we'll wait to see what, hear what he oh has. My, my it's, a, it's a calculator. Okay, 11... Just under two pounds. Just under two pounds. So I could put this away with this next spot because it seems like this is one of the spots that fish keep coming to. So I'm going to try to backboat Knox pretty bad <laughs> so I can win. I got to get money so I can enter another tournament and then win more money, and then I can maybe repay Knox or something like that at the end of the, at the, end of the month or something like that. But we did the same thing we were doing last week, or whatever, where we caught fish at this one brush pile and we ran up the lake. We are hitting the main points on the upper part of the lake, but it wasn't really working out. It just seems like the, the vibe's off up there, I guess. I don't, really, I don't really know how else to put it, but vibe's definitely off up there. So we moved back down, and pretty much right away, once we got back into a creek close to the dam, we got bit. I caught one that was three and a half, 330 something. Knox caught a small one. Uh, I think the changing conditions have definitely affected the fish. When we first got out here, it's glass calm. Do we even? Yeah, we caught. We, pro we caught. Yeah, we caught him because it was a prefrontal thing. Even even while the storm was still going on, we came out here. Our rod tips were buzzing. Caught him right away. But once it kind of slowed down, once it stopped draining, uh, stopped getting electrocuted. That's when we kind of stopped getting <laughs> bit. So now, like, the sun's starting to come out a little bit starting to be more post frontal and it's been a little tougher so definitely definitely can see how our uh bites have changed the amount of bites we got because when we when we had been pulling up it was bang 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 first cast in there they'd hit like on the fall now we're having to kind of work for them cast in there multiple times so we're gonna see we're gonna hit like one or two more spots and we're gonna call it and uh we'll add it up and we'll let you guys know who wins but i don't it's gonna be close so i hope i win and i hope Knox doesn't <laughs> Take one more cast and then we gone. Oh, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Whoa! A little fired up now. Dude, that's what I'm saying. They're hitting it like a bluegill, but folks, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. This is not two pounds. There's a pound, so that means I just gotta catch one more one pounder. Come on, man! What are you doing? Just slacking on me like that. Go. Are you kidding me? Oh, we came off! Yes! Go! 136, 136, call it GoPro. And it's fourth quarter. falls apart floor goes wide open <laughs> he gets snagged i don't have to move the boat <laughs> i don't have to go get that snag <laughs> come on man there go, there's gotta be one there's gonna be one right here i know it i know it yep are you freaking kidding me It's huge. Like I should get the camera. This kid's snorting. What a weirdo. 
Are you freaking kidding me, dude? I literally hate you, Knox. Oh my freaking god. Knox, I, got, I gotta get back in there. 520. Five, are you freaking kidding me? Oh my god. I gotta catch like four more. Alright. Alright, folks. Just got on a pretty decent bite, actually. <laughs> Knox ended up catching the bigger one. It was actually kind of weird. Like, usually I say the biggest fish in the school will bite first. And I know there's a brush pile right here. There's some rocks surrounding it. And I threw in there. The first cast, I actually broke off. I knew it was a fish. I broke off on the fish when I set the hook. Threw back in there. Caught one. I caught one. Then Knox caught one. I don't know how many. I think we caught like four, four, four or five off of this. Uh, yeah, I caught, I caught one. I caught a small one. Knox caught a small one. I caught another one, I think. And while I was fighting that fish, Knox set the hook. He's like, oh, it's a big one. What was it, like five something? 520. 520, so we're gonna have to put that into his phone, but I got some work to do. All right, folks, end of the day, we're running out of the sunlight, we're running out of safe light. So I'm gonna go ahead and concede it to Knox. He went and caught two big ones today. He ended up having something like 18, 32, something like that. I had 14, doesn't matter, I lost. Kind of fun to mix it up. Kind of fun to mix it up. I, we've never done a, or I've never done a major league fishing tournament or head to head kind of thing. So it's kind of fun to see. Um, usually I don't even, keep track of how many fish I catch in a day, but it was kind of cool to be able to do that. Um, but the not so fun part is that I have to give Knox money. Not really looking forward to that part. I'm paying for Knox's dinner and dinner for probably the next week or something like that. Knox said, Knox just calculated it. He said our best five were 21.53 today. He had one that was almost seven. I uh, had one that was, or he had one, another one that was like five something. I don't know, but it was kind of on this one spot. We had been hitting this for a while in the past videos. Yep. Uh, I pointed out at the beginning of the video, but we had only caught small ones here before. I don't even think we'd caught a three pounder here, but these fish kept coming to it. Um, I've seen in the past when I've come to Lake Conroe and in other places, it seems like small fish will hit this spot first and then big fish will come later and it'll be small fish again. So it seems like we just timed it right today. The conditions were good, big fish were biting. Uh, had a huge storm roll through. It seems like that really made those big fish bite. Uh, I'm just, I just wish I was the one that caught them. I guess Knox was, Knox had the hot hand today, but uh, yeah, fun day. Uh, I would say uh, we're gonna go fish one more spot, and we're gonna call it because we're running out of light, and I hate putting the running lights in. So <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button, and uh, yeah, leave a comment about anything. Like you tell me about how your day was. I don't really know. I'm probably going to cut that part out. <laughs>